Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Eze Gambu, Admiral Tibet Meda, Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, Principal Staff of South here present, Directors, Deputy Directors, Senior Officers, Officers, Senior Rates to be Commissioned to their Spouses, Members of the Press, Distinguished Invited Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, I am Commander Delight to Brian Johanna Yohanko, a Master of Ceremony for this auspicious occasion. We are here to witness the Presidential Concessional Commissioning Ceremony recently granted to 12th Master Warrant Officers, VEB 431 NG. Distinguished invited guests, permit me to inform you that this is the second of its kind in the Nigerian Navy. We will recall that a similar Presidential Concessional Commissioning took place sometime March last year in this conference hall. Worthy of note is the fact that they were all conducted by this present administration under the able leadership of the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral A.Z. Damo, CFR. So, let me add that that will encourage and also motivate the men and make them want to aspire to be like one of these ones that are beneficiaries today. Without further ado, please permit me to invite the ICT department to give us a safety brief as we continue. Next is the welcome remarks by the Chief of Administration, Rear Admiral B.J. Bassa, OFA. Special guest of honor, and Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral A.Z. Gambo, Admiral Tumeda, Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, Principal Staff Officers at the Naval Headquarters, Directors and Deputy Directors here present, Senior Officers, Officers, and our spiritual fathers, the plate men, our celebrants, the newly commissioned officers, and their beautiful spouses, members of the press, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. First, I want to give all glory to God for bringing us to see a wonderful day like this where we will celebrate another, another major milestone in the records of the Nigerian Navy. And so, on behalf of the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Wald, Bill Gambo, Admiral Tumeda, Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, I am especially delighted to welcome you all to the commissioning ceremony of our senior rates, who were recently granted Presidential Constitutional Commission into the rank of Lieutenant in the Nigerian Navy. It is pertinent to state that the purpose of the Commission is to reward hard work, enhance the retirement benefits of the beneficiaries and to recognize their meritorious services to the nation as encapsulated in the harmonized terms and conditions of service for officers 2017 revised. Indeed, the Nigerian Navy places very high premium on hard work and recognizes appropriate rewards for such work. Accordingly, we are here this afternoon in recognition of the meritorious service rendered to the nation and the Nigerian Navy by these 12 master warrant officers who have distinguished themselves over the last 33 years or so. Though this commission is not frequently granted, it must be observed that this will be the second time that personnel are benefiting from the concessional commission under the present leadership of the Nigerian Navy. This is in consonance with the CNS strategic directive in which welfare of personnel 
is a key priority. Let me state that while congratulating the beneficiaries on their well-deserved elevation, it is pertinent to note that this promotion is, is also coming at an auspicious time when more than ever the service expects more from these 12 elevated officers. As such, our celebrants are enjoined to keep up their exemplary conduct and display unflinching patriotism and loyalty to the nation in all their endeavors as they shoulder more demanding responsibilities as commissioned officers. On this note, I want to seize this opportunity to once again welcome all our invited guests and most especially our celebrants to a new day in which they are being elevated to a new status in the Nigerian Navy and the Armed Forces of Nigeria. You are all welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, the Chief of Administration. The special guest of honor, sir, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the confirmation of commission. May I respectfully invite the Chief of Administration to present the MWs. The Chief of Naval Staff, sir, I have the honor to present to you for the concessional commission to the rank of lieutenant in the Nigerian Navy, the following, sir. Lieutenant Master Warrant Officer E. O. Johnson, official number X6898. Master Warrant Officer F. I. Mbogu, official number X6978. Master Warrant Officer A. Adamu, Official Number X7111. Master Warrant Officer B. D. Sambo, Official Number X6985. Master Warrant Officer K. A. Oladi, Official Number X. Romeo 0023. Master Warrant Officer D.C. Chimen. Sir. Official number L8079. Master Warrant Officer B.S. Guanti. Sir. Official number S5225. Master Warrant Officer M.C. Tijani. Sir. Official number E.B.C. Adebona. Sir. Official number E3851. Master Warrant Officer S. Idashi. Sir. Official number E3856. Master Warrant Officer Y. Abubakar. Sir. Official number S5231. And last but not the least, Master Warrant Officer U. M. Ido. Sir. Official number S5268. The special guest of honor and chief of the naval staff, may I respectfully request you to please confer on this world master warrant officer, the presidential concessional commission, unto the rank of lieutenant. I, Vice Admiral Ezekiel Gambo, CFA. On behalf of the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari Jishiafaro, by the powers conferred on him, by the Constitution, and as the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, hereby confer on each and every one of you jointly and severally, a commission to the round of lieutenants in the United States. Congratulations. Thank you.
invited guests of the new commission of staff to join them on the floor to unveil their ranks. The spouses of these wife of stars about to be, master wife of stars about to be commissioned, are supposed to be behind them. Once the band plays, they will turn about and the spouses and invited guests of this warrant of stars to be commissioned will turn about and then the spouses will unveil their ranks. So band get ready. May I request the spouse to now unveil the ranks of their spouses. After unveiling the ranks, they will also exchange the headgear of their spouses with commission officer's headgear. So I request that um, those in charge of the ideas, please, will you hurry up with them? Oh! 
The special guests of all of us, may I at this point request that you please administer the vote of allegiance on this newly commissioned process. The special guests of all of us. I, 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 that I will be a true and faithful allegiance that I will be a true and faithful allegiance to the President, to the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will loyally serve, that I will loyally serve the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Federal Republic of Nigeria, as by law established, as by law established, as an officer, as, as an officer, and that I, and that I, will as in duty bound, will as in duty bound, serve for the period of my engagement, serve for the period of my engagement, or re-engagement, or re-engagement. As the case may be, as the case may be, and go to wherever ordered by land, and I'm go to wherever ordered by land, sea or by air, sea or by air, and that I, and that I, will subject myself, will subject myself to all acts, to all acts, subsidiary legislations, subsidiary legislations, and service regulations, and service regulations. Which now, which now, or shall from time to time, or shall from time to time, be in force, be in force, and applicable to the Nigerian Navy, and applicable to the Nigerian Navy, during the period of my engagement, during the period of my engagement, or re-engagement, or re-engagement, as the case may be, as the case may be. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Congratulations. Please a round of Shall we be 
the special guest of Ono San. We have come to the high point of today's occasion, which is marked by the special guest of Ono. May I at this point request the special guest of Ono to give his remarks, the special guest of Ono San. Christmas staff officers of the Nama headquarters, super directors, senior officers, our brand new commissioned lieutenants, the chiefs, boss we made, spouses and families of members of the newly commissioned officers, distinguished invited guests, members of the fourth estate of the reign, ladies and gentlemen. It is with sincere pleasure that I warmly welcome everyone to this presidential concessional commissioning ceremony of 12 suitably qualified master warrant officers to the rank of lieutenant in the Nigerian Navy. Our distinguished guests, 12 months ago, Precisely on 25th of March 2022, the main presidential concessional commission ceremony took place in this hall. The initiative was to reward personnel in fulfillment of my result to encourage hard work, commitment, and integrity which portray the Nigerian Navy in good light. As I've always noted, man remains the most critical and important factor for any organization to succeed, and the Nigerian Navy under my watch will stop at nothing, at nothing to ensure personnel who distinguish themselves are rewarded handsomely. Today, again, I am glad to observe that the Nigerian Navy has placed a high premium on human capacity development, particularly with the introduction of several motivational incentives towards enhancing human resource output for optimal operational efficiency of the Nigerian Navy. In addition to ongoing in-country regular training for career progression and development, slots for comparative training are sourced abroad to complement local training which we undertake. There were also several conferences, retreats and seminars, including the third Nigerian Navy Warren of Sars Convention geared towards maximizing leadership potentials. Furthermore, as part of the efforts to reinvigorate aspiration, leadership, and strive for excellence within the rated scale, the Nigerian Navy activated the Concessional Commission provision in the harmonized terms and condition of service officers 2017 revised. The provisions of the concessional commission allow for outstanding personnel of the rank of master warrant officer and above or equivalent to possess or who possess exemplary leadership qualities and have distinguished themselves through hard work, dedication, and meritorious service to be commissioned as officers in the armed forces of Nigeria. The Concessional Commission also served as a motivational measure for non-commissioned officers to aspire to be elevated to the officer gear. The 12 of you seated here today Distinguish yourself and will found worthy of this recognition and elevation. I therefore congratulate you all. I say congratulations once again. <laughs>
Thank you. I also felicitate with your respective families, spouses and loved ones for the perseverance and support which culminated into this presidential concessional commission. I congratulate the families, especially the spouses and loved ones of the commission officers. At this juncture, may I remind you all of the oath of allegiance that was just administered to you. By that oath, I charge you to remain steadfast and loyal to constituted authorities and diligently focus on your assigned duties. You are to also avoid any acts that could bring disrepute to the Nigerian Navy and by extension, Nigeria in general. May I also add that a lot will be expected of you as officers, given your experience and pedigree in the service, especially in the light of the contemporary security challenges our nation faces. This challenge undoubtedly called for dedication selflessness, professionalism, integrity, and teamwork, which you will depict at all times. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I, at this point, express my sincere appreciation to the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Wari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic for his unflinching support to the Nigerian Navy, which have provided the impetus for attainment of several landmark achievements, including this presidential concessional commission. <coughs> May I also congratulate or express gratitude to the Honorable Minister of Defense and other members of the Navy Board whose overwhelming support made today a reality. I also wish to recognize our invited guests, well wishes, and families of the newly commissioned officers for adding glamour to these occasions. For those of us that have come from outside Abuja, I wish you God's guidance and journey message back to your respective destinations. Of course, I'm aware some of you had to come in a bit late, and that was why this occasion is holding at this ghost chosen time. I say thank you, God bless us all, and as always, always together. Thank you.
I wish to sincerely thank the Almighty God for life, good health, and most especially for making this day a reality. To Him, we turn all the glory and honor. Our uh, most gratitude goes to the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, of Nigeria His Excellency President Mohamed Buhari, GCFR for the opportunity given to us to serve our dear country in this capacity. We remain grateful to the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral AZ Gambo, CFRO, for finding us worthy to be elevated to this rank. We are aware that this promotion comes with greater responsibility. We pledge our continuous loyalty and dedication to the Nigerian Navy and the value it represents. The Chief of Naval Staff, sir, you have provided the needed leadership and guidance for us, and we will continue to look up to you for guidance and mentorship. As young officers, we are privileged to have you as our Chief of Naval Staff to tap from your work of experience and leadership side. We assure you, sir, that tomorrow you will look back with pride to say that these were your officers. To our, to our fellow officers, British and civilians of the Nigerian Navy, we appreciate God for the privilege of working together. This vote of thanks will be incomplete without acknowledging the immense roles of our dear spouses and family members in keeping the home front, offering support and prayer for our sources and God guidance. We really appreciate all you do. We got to do Special demand must be made of all our esteemed invited guests who have taken time out of their schedule in honoring our invitation to grace this occasion. I say thank you very much. We wish you all joy the mercy as you depart to your destination. Once again, thank you, sir, and God bless you. Well, thanks. Next will be the national anthem. Before then, may I announce that there will be a good photograph by the special guest of honor alongside the newly promoted officers and so on and so forth. Then, next, we're going to have it's going to be in front of the so that the order of the program photography includes the chief of Naval Staff with the newly commissioned officers. Next set will be the chief of Naval Staff with the newly commissioned officers and the principal staff officers. And then we have the chief of Naval Staff with the newly commissioned officers and directors, public deputy directors. And finally, we're going to have the chief of Naval Staff with the newly commissioned officers as well as their spouses or the invited guests. This will be the other photograph just in front of the hall here. And before then, may I request the band to give us the national center.
Next is, please may I request that the spouses please. After now, I request that the spouses are invited to the come and have your personal photographs here.